all right guys so today is going to be another day we are hopping in the mustang because it is going to be another cruise we are going to shanico which is eastern oregon I got one of my friends with me he's gonna go see what's up so we're gonna hit the road and we will see you in a little bit So we made it so here we are we got a couple cars that have already showed up we are waiting for the rest of the club to get here and then whoever needs fuel we're going to get some gas and then hit the road so we're gonna hang out talk gossip see what's up and back on the road a lot of the cars are starting to show up so we are going to get some videos of some of these cars we are still waiting we've got about 10 15 minutes
We are all geared up. We got our radio, so we're gonna hop in the cars and we're gonna start heading to Shanico. So everybody's fueling up uh, before we hit 197 to head into Shaniko, but we got cars, everybody's topping off, getting fuel, everybody's pulling in. So once everybody's done getting all their horses some water, uh, we'll hit the road. Officer showed up. He's uh, showing us what he's got under the hood, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, he's just super cool, so it makes it nice. Everybody's hanging out. <laughs>
guys, we are here at Shanico. So this is a old ghost town. There was a huge fire that burned the town down. Most of Main Street and stuff was gone, so the town never rebuilt. So we are here, we're gonna hang out for a couple hours. We're gonna enjoy the day, but I will get a bunch of shots of all the cars. And then we'll sneak off, get some food, and then head on out. All right, so the cool thing is there's about 25 people that live in this town still. Uh, so we probably tripled the town's population today. We're gonna go check out some old cars that they got stashed back here in a barn. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Yeah.
this is an awesome little town. I mean, they have so much history that's just sitting outside. You know, they don't have to worry about theft. Like, I mean, look at this thing. Looks, <laughs> it's falling apart. It's such a cool town. I mean, everything here hasn't been touched since the fire. So we're gonna try to find something to eat. Yeah, he wasn't playing when uh, he said he made the big, biggest burgers in town. <laughs> That's massive. Caught behind the Venetian blinds, how to reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong. Ain't looking me, man, what I become. I've been running east, looking for something, digging deep since '99. What I thought was gone. Now, as we head home today. I just want to say thank you to everybody in the club that made it out and did this trip and made it happen. There is so much stuff in our day-to-day -day lives that we take for granted and it's nice getting away from all of that and just having a fun day. Once again, I got ahead of myself and I left before creating an outro, so I apologize to all of my viewers. I do like to hang out with everybody because these are all people that enjoy building, having fun, and just driving their Mustangs. So it's fun just being a part of a group that enjoys the stuff that they like doing. But I figure while we're heading home, I know a lot of you guys would kind of like to know the cool history behind Chanico and what, what the town was about. The town was actually called Cross Hollow back in 1867. And one of the settlers in Cross Hollow, his name was August Chernikow. He came there during the Civil War in 1874. Now, the funny thing is, local Native American pronunciation of his last name ended up as Chernikow. Anyways, there was a post office that was originally established back in 1879. Chernikow was the postmaster, and that first post office closed in 1877. The Chernikow post office opened up in 1900, and then they incorporated the town in 1901. When you think of Chernikow back in the day, you gotta go back into the early 20th century, back when the Union Pacific Railroad was marching out west, and they built a big junction to a terminus in Chernikow. The branch was completed back in May of 1900, and then at that time, the city was known as the wool capital of the world. It was the largest regional center that encompassed over 20,000 square miles of wool, wheat, cattle, sheep, and then nothing else out there in the Center East Cascade Range in Oregon. Back in 1902, Shannon was Wasco's County's fifth largest city boasting the largest wool warehouse in the state, from which over 4 million pounds of wool were marketed in 1901. It was surrounded by cattle ranchers, which produced livestock for shipment that filled over 400 railroad cars every year. So back in 1903, when Shanico gained the nickname Wool Capital of the World, they shipped over 2,000 tons of wool and over 1 million bushels of wheat. They made $3 million back in 1903, which was the second largest sale of that year when one warehouse deposited over a million dollars into the bank. And then by 1911, the Oregon Washington Railroad, which began an alternate route linking Portland to Bend up the Deschutes River Canyon, it was marketed as a direct, quick, and natural route. So it started pulling business out of Shanico and business started to decline. Passenger rail service ended in the 1930s and the entire line was shut down in 1966. By 1982, Shanico was nearly a ghost town and then Shanico was first called a ghost town at the Oregon Centennial Exposition in Portland in 1959. So if this is the first episode that you've been watching on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please comment, like, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing, uh, and we will see you next week because I got a bunch of videos I got to get made and put out. 
So until then, thank you, and we'll see you later.